This is a hey everybody, it's Joanna, and I'm back with another show and tell on this wig right here. Do y'all see this lovely wig and that bang? That bang is just everything. If you want to see more, please stay tuned. And this new wig is by Features Equal. It's part of their luxury integration line. And it's an extreme side part wig. And the style is called Ursula, and I have her in the color 1B. Now this wig comes with two combs on the left and right side of the part. As well as a lace deep side part. It has a comb in the back and adjustable straps. And the wig that I currently have on, I'm going to leave a link for it in the description box. And I'm going to take this wig off and put on the other one. And I currently have my braids braided straight back. And I have four braids on each side parted down the middle. <laughs> yes, I am part of the small head committee. <laughs> now this wig is big head friendly. But if you have a smaller head like mine, you just adjust the straps and it'll have a nice, you know, snug fit. And the density on this wig isn't too full, which I think is just perfect because a lot of these natural style wigs, yeah, I'm feeling this bang. A lot of these natural style wigs, the density is just too thick and I just don't even bother buying them but I'm glad I bought this one because this is definitely not too thick for me and as I'm brushing it and running my fingers through it I haven't noticed any shedding maybe two or three strands on my brush but that's about it and since this wig doesn't have any lace to cut this lace part in the front of the wig usually is a little thick and looks a little raised and unnatural so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a rectal comb and pull some of my edges out around the front to help it blend a little bit better i purchased this wig off of wigtypes.com for $21.99 and i'm going to leave the link below Now I'm pretty tall and the hair falls right above my chest and also right in the middle of my back and I'm 5'10 so if you're a little bit shorter than me this wig will be longer on you. Yeah I'm really feeling this hairstyle. I really like this bang. Got me feeling like a Leah a little bit up in here. And now I'm going to slick down my edges with some Argan Oil Edge Control and just a basic brown Eco Styler Gel. And the reason I add the brown gel over the edge control is because sometimes with certain edge controls they leave like a, a white cakey film around your edges and the brown gel helps keep that from happening. have a small little edge brush that I found at my uh, local hair store but you can definitely use a toothbrush if you want and so far the part is looking good you really don't have to pluck anything but I'm going to add some press powder to the part and just to see how this is going to look and I have the Maybelline fit me powder in the color toffee and now I just dab the press powder in a part with the brush and then I just sweep it back and forth and blend it in to give it a more natural look.
And this is what the part looks like with some pressed powder in it. And I think adding the pressed powder made it look a lot more natural. I definitely feel that this is a great beginner wig. There's not a lot of manipulation that you have to do to make this wig look natural. And it's also easy style to maintain. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I'm loving this wig. And thanks for tuning in. Please comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. See ya. This is a Chucky Beat production.